and you register because it is going to be our platform okay we are we are not going to use uh, Moodle okay that is um, the difference with English that we can use another platform and in this case we're going to use Edmund okay so let me check if everybody's in Edmodo Also, it's very important that you try to log in with the institutional email. So it's easier for you and I don't have to be giving you access to the class. Let me see. I have Setzal Hernandez, Aparicio Hernandez, Salvador Torruco, Gutierrez Morales, Hildo Zuna, Hernández Hernández, Cruz Aguilar, Canul May, Rodríguez Seguán, Ortiz Martínez, Torres Aguilar, Morales García, López Romo, Martínez Pérez, Tuxiao, Herrera Calderón, Pérez Villarreal, Salomón León, García Ramírez, López González, Romero Domínguez, González Araujo, and Joel Chan. That, that is everything I have in it model. So if I didn't mention your name, that means you have to register starting by last names. Okay, also I sent an email to the group leader with the general information for uh, the evaluation. So if you remember, there are different aspects. Um, there. So that is why it's essential, it's very important that you have your book with a code for helping. Because this is a percentage of the grade. I remind you the percentages. 30% evaluation in activities in Edmodo. These activities are um, the homework activities I'm going to give you every week. Mm -hmm. So, so far we have one activity that is the diagnostic test. Okay. Then you have another 20% for activities in helping. 20% the written exam and 30% oral exam. So that is the 100% of the grade. And also, you need to come to the sessions because then you you don't know what is going on and then you try to use it uh, as an excuse that I didn't do the homework because I didn't know. That is not acceptable, okay? If you, for any reason, miss a class, it's your responsibility to catch up, to investigate the homework. Okay, so you can be absent maybe once because I understand that sometimes we have situations that are out of our control, but two or more absences and you will be in recuperation, okay, because it's only one class a week, so I think you can 
you can come to the class, okay? Well, be connected to the class. Okay, any questions so far? Well, let's thank you. Let's start with the introductions. My name is Anna. I have been a teacher of English for many years. Sometimes I also teach French. I like traveling. Um, one of my hobbies is watching movies, watching series. Um, I'm from Querétaro, and um, my favorite food is sushi. All right. So, um, let's start with your introductions. Please turn on your camera so I can identify you when you introduce yourself. Okay, let's start with Abner, please. You have to say similar things, I mean, as I did, no? Where you are from, um, your hobbies, your favorite food, and your plans for the future. What do you want to do when you finish your studies? Okay. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, but you need to turn on your camera, please. Is not fixed. It's not working. No. No, uh, at am. least you have to put a profile picture where I can see your face. Uh, well, I am. I am Amir Kestal. Um, I am from to Cancun, Mexico. Uh, I love read books, uh, listen to music, uh, play the guitar. Um, my favorite my favorite food is uh, cochinita. Um, my plan to the future is finish the no, yeah, finish the uh, this career. Finish your studies. And, but what do you want to do? Because obviously that you're going to finish now because you are already almost there. You are in ninth quarter. But what do you want to do when you finish? I think I like to uh, working uh, when I'll, I finish the the, the, the studio. Okay, thank you, Avner. Let's continue with Alexis. Papa yes, teacher. Alex. Good morning. Uh, I... Hello. Uh, Hello. My name is Alexis Rafael Aparicio Hernandez. Uh, my... I am from Cancun, Quintana Roo. Uh, my favorite food is enfrijoladas. And my plan when I finish my, my studies is get a good job in my area. In my area. Thank you. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Alexis. Nice to meet you too, teacher. Um, Angel Alexis, please. Uh, yes. Um, <clears throat> can you hear me? Yes, but I cannot see. Uh, I can see you now. Yes. Well, uh, my name is Alexis Gutierrez. I'm from Veracruz. Uh, my favorite hobby is to watch series and and movies and when i finish the university i want to move out to veracruz again and find a good job okay thank you nice to meet you alexis okay 
Sí, Ángel Francisco. Um, hi. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you and see you. Oh, right. Well, uh, my name is Ángel Francisco Hermenegui Lozona. I'm uh, from here, from Cancun. Uh, I like to play video games and watch some series. I don't know. And well, when I finish the, the career, I like to get a a good job and 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 that's all. <laughs> okay, Angel, where would you want to find a job? Here in Cancun or abroad? Mm, maybe you start here and then went go. Uh, Irme a otro lado. <laughs> Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. All right, maybe Canada, no? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Why not? There are a lot of opportunities for IT engineers in that country. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's continue. Daniel Hernandez. Yes, we can hear you and see you. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Daniel Hernandez Hernandez. I'm from here, Cancun. Um, I like to watch series and movies and play some video games. And when I finish my stud my the university, I want to to get a good job here in Cancun. And that's it. What's your favorite food, Daniel? Uh, I don't know, maybe hamburger. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, Edwin Alejandro, please. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Um, can you see me? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, hi. Uh, my name is Edwin Cruz Aguilar. Um, I'm from Cancun, Quintana Roo. Um, my favorite hobbies are um, listening to music and play some video games. And when I finish the university, I want to find a good job here and study another career. And that's it. What major do you want to study? Um, some of administration, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can have your company. Yeah. No, your that's, own company. That's the idea. Yeah. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Edwin. Um, thanks. Uh, let's continue with Fátima del Rosario. Is Fátima in the class? Yes, um, can you hear me now? Not yet. Uh, my, my camera is not working. Well, you have to, to use a profile picture. This goes to everybody because normally I don't ask you to, to have the camera on during all the class, but you must have a profile picture, a real profile picture, not a cartoon or meme or whatever, no, your picture. So I can see you and I can identify you, okay? Okay, can you see me now? 
Well, I can see a shadow. A, uh, now I can see you, Fatima. You okay, can start. Uh, my name is Fatima, and I, I'm from Cancun here. Uh, I'm 21 years old. I like sports, video games, and programming. And um, I would like work as a programmer once I finish. And that's all. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Nice to meet you. Let's continue with Francisco Daniel. Francisco Daniel. Is he in the class or absent? Absent, so I can mark him as absent on my temporary list. So Francisco, we're waiting for you to introduce yourself, please. Francisco. Well, Francisco doesn't want to participate. Okay, Francisco, then you will introduce yourself later. Let's continue with Isaac, Isaac Torres. Hi. My name is Isaac. I am going to. What is your camera, Isaac? Uh, I don't have a camera on my PC in other place where I have. What? Um, can you hear me? Yes, but I, I don't understand why you don't have a camera. I don't have is a PC, not a um, laptop. Okay, well, you have to put um, a profile picture so I can identify you, okay? Okay. I was born in Cancun. I am 23 years old. My hobbies are play. I play in video games and watching series. My favorite, my favorite food is tacos. When I finish my studies, I will look for a programmer job. Okay, thank you, Isaac. Let's continue with Israel Morales. Uh, hi. Me? Yes, we can see you and hear you. Okay, um, my name is Israel Morales Garcia. I like, uh, I don't have a specific hobby. I like playing video games, watching movies and series. Uh, I come from Mexico. Uh, however, I was raised in Veracruz and well, um, I want to get a job after finishing university. What kind of job, Israel? Uh, well, one uh, focused on my career to take advantage of um, what I've learned in university. Okay, good. Nice to meet you. Let's continue with Jose Luis Book. Hi, 
Hello. I can hear you and see you. Why are you on the street, Jose Luis? I don't do any work. You should be at school. Okay, start, please. Uh, my name is Jose Luis. I like to play volleyball and go to the movies and watch movies. Um, my dancing people uh, finish the career and it will be time to go. Thank you, Jose Luis. Let's continue with Jose Maria. Hi, teacher. Can you see me? Uh, yes, start. Okay, teacher. Uh, hi. Uh, my name is Jose Maria Martinez Perez. Um, I'm from here, from Cancun. Um, my favorite food, I think, is tacos. Um, one of my jobs is play video games. And when I finish the school, I want to study English to get a certificate. Okay, good. What um, certificate do you want to get? Mm, I don't know really, because I'm going to search what kind of certificate exists to get but one. What do you need? Do you want it to, uh, to live in another country or something like that? Mm, so it's for job. Because in IC, in a lot of job, uh, wants to get uh, fluent English or something like that. And I want to prove my English. Mm -hmm. Well, I can suggest, well, if it's for the country, for Mexico, inside Mexico, mm -hmm. you can do the TOEFL because it's the cheapest one. But if you want to use it to immigrate, I don't know, maybe to Canada or Australia, you have to do the IELTS. Uh -huh. This is the international, well, it's the only exam that Canada accepts, also Australia, for immigration purposes. It's very expensive also, it's almost 5,000 5, pesos. But it's the only one, I mean, if you're going to invest and that's your plan, well, yes. I think you should present, uh, you should do this certification. Okay. And the advantage is that you don't fail. I mean, you do the exam and they give you your grade, your certificate with the grade that you got. So, okay, very good. Thank you, Jose Maria. Thank you, teacher. Let's continue, Jose Uriel. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I hear you. Start. Okay, my name is Jose Uriel Lopez Romo. I'm uh, 23 years old. Mm, my hobby is play video games and listen music. And when I finish my, my career, I will study a master's degree in mathematics teaching. And I, I, maybe I will go to Aguascalientes, or maybe I, I stay here. Why Aguascalientes? Uh, because I'm from here, and here I found a, a, a good a good jobs with good salary. You're from there. And I have a, Are you in Aguascalientes or in Cancun? No, I'm from Aguascalientes. But you are in Cancun right yes. now. Okay. Yes. So you have to say, I'm from there because you are not in that place. You are far away. So uh -huh. I'm from there. I'm from Aguascalientes, no? 
Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I, I say I'm from here. Uh -huh. And I was like confused, oh, okay, okay, like okay. maybe he's in Cabos Calientes or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Jose Uriel, thank you. Um, let's continue with Josmar. Josmar. Mm -hmm. I can see you and hear you. Start. Okay. Good, Josmar. Nice to meet you. Let's continue with Julio Perez. Julio Perez is in the class. Absent. Remember that your participation is also your attendance because if I ask something and you don't answer, maybe you just connected and you went back to sleep or something, no? So you need to be ready to participate. Sure. Yes, William. Well, as I mentioned to your classmates, you need a real profile picture. Okay, because yes. you are not okay. the cat that you have there, ¿verdad? Okay. So, start. Okay, uh, my name is Julio. Uh, I am from Cancun. Uh, I, I, I have uh, 20 years old. Uh, my hobby is play video games. My my favorite food is pizza. What are your plans for the future? Uh, my future. Um, I work in Canada. Okay, but to work in Canada, you need a good English level, so yes. that's why you have to study. I mean, you have the, um, all of you, you have a great advantage because there are a lot of opportunities in Canada for software engineers. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Julio. Um, let's continue, Carla Vianney, please. Um, I, <laughs> I got a bell. Uh, good morning, sorry. I don't know why I have this. Can you hear me? But we cannot see you. What is your camera? I have. Mm. Uh, actually, I can see her. No sé por qué tengo ese fondo. <laughs> what? Really? So maybe it's my computer. What? I cannot see you, Carla. Can you try again? Yes. Uh, I mean. Uh, I cannot see you. I can hear you, but I cannot see you. Ah, now okay. I can see you. Start, so, Carla. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, good morning. My name is Carla Salomon. Uh, I'm from Veracruz. 
uh, um, I, my, I really don't have hobbies because I'm, I work in the afternoon and I take my class in the morning. But when I have a little free time, I, I like to play video games or see a, new, a movie. In the weekend, I think I work. I hang out with my friends or something. And when I finish my studies, uh, I really don't have a plan exactly, but I want to get a better job. Um, that's it. Thank you, Carla. Nice to meet you. Uh, let's continue, Kevin Garcia. Uh, hey, teacher, I'm here. Uh -huh. um, can you see me? Yes. Uh, hi, my name is Kevin Garcia, and I'm from here, from Cancun. And my hobbies, my hobbies are play video games and like Josmar, watch some anime and manga. And for my my future, I would like to start some job or something like like that in a company or. And then after gain some some experience, I start some company or, or something like that. And that's all. Okay, very good. Thank you, Kevin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Patricio. Can you introduce yourself? Patricia, it's I was born, no, I am was born. I was born only. Um, okay, Patricia, maybe the camera, I mean, I understand, but how am I going to to check your pronunciation, your speaking? You have to get a microphone mm -hmm, for this class. Okay, please take it into account because otherwise I cannot evaluate you. I don't know if you speak correctly. I don't know if anything, okay? Paulo Romero. Yes, teacher. Uh, hi, my name is Paulo. I from for Cancun. I am 23 years old. My hobbies are reading. I read every day and play video games. After I finished the university, I went to look for a job. Okay, Paolo, what kind of books do you read? Uh, any kind, uh, sci-fi or fantasy. Really, it doesn't matter. It's only question of that is interesting. All right, thanks. Um, let's continue with Pedro Gonzalez. Yes, teacher, I present. Hello. Please you turn on me? your camera. 
Uh, yes. Okay. Start. Uh, I was born in Cancun, and my favorite hobby is drawing. I like the university, and I like programming web page. Um, este, um, baseball. What are your plans for the future? Um, my plan on the future is programming in the great job, good job. Um, formar parte, no, no sé cómo se dice, uh, de una, de, de you, good, good job. On the, Ok, thank you, Pedro. Let's continue with Ruben Elies. Hi, can you see me? Yes. Yeah. Ok, I am Ruben. I was born in Cancun. Uh, right now I am 23 years old. My hobbies are um, watching sports. I like sports. Um, see or read movies about comics or something, and some kind of animes. Maybe uh, uh, for the future, I was to get a good job and maybe study other career like data engineering. It's, it's, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, it's interesting for me. Okay, very good, Ruben, thank you. Okay, did everybody introduce uh, themselves? We had somebody pending, no? Uh, Francisco Daniel, please. Can you hear me? Um, yes. Uh, my name is Francisco. I cannot see you. Ah, now I can. Yes, start. My name is Francisco. I am from Mexico City. I am a uh, 21 years old. When I, when I finish the university, I want to study a master's degree. And I like to play video games, um, watch movies. Thank you, Francisco. What kind of master do you want to do? Do you want to study? Um, like this, this area mm -hmm. uh, about technology. Okay, very good. Thank you, Francisca. Okay, nice to meet you, everybody. Teacher, did you forgot? Yes. Ah, oh, Francisco, sorry. <laughs> Can you introduce yourself, please? Yes, teacher. Um, uh, can you see me? Yes. Okay. Um, well, I'm Francisco Rodriguez. Um, I'm from here, Cancun. Uh, well, I like play video games and watch anime. This is my principal hobbies. Um, another thing, when I when I finish the career, I don't know. Uh, maybe we, maybe I am doing a master or or another career. Uh, I'd like to to get a job with uh, to web programmer. I don't know full stack. Is the principal added? Um, I think is it's all. I don't know if you. Yes, or... thank you. Very good, Rodrigo. Uh, Francisco Rodriguez. Okay, 
Did everybody participate? Yes. Okay, well, nice to meet you, everybody. We're going to start with the lesson nine because we have to cover four units. So the last four units in your books. Please open your book, page 81. Check the pictures and tell me how many buildings can you name? Do you recognize any of these buildings? Uh, yes. Yes. Which one, Paulo? Uh, in the outside left, I think that is the Kremlin? I don't know. Um, I don't think it's a, I think it's a church. I think. I'm never going to Russia, but. Ruben, what building do you recognize? I recognize two. What? Which Excuse ones? me, three. The, Which ones? Uh -huh. The B are for the Olympic Games in Beijing, I remember. And the I see it's F, it's Somalia Museum in Mexico City, maybe. And the A is the Red Square from Russia. No? Uh -huh. I think this building is there in that place, but the the specific it's the red building. Square. The red, square, the red square. The red square is the is a square, but this is a building that is in the red square, not the red square. Ah, exactly. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to find out in a moment. Paulo, do you want to participate? Uh, yes, I already researched, and the picture of is the Kremlin. Okay, in Russia, no? Yes. Very good. So, from these buildings, which one do you think is the oldest? Uh, probably the picture D. The oldest, maybe. And the newest? The F. 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 F, okay, maybe. Well, let's check the descriptions to find out. Okay, number one. Can you read number one, Abner? Number two, Alexis Rafael. Number three, Angel. Number four, Carla. Number five, Paulo. And number six, Jose Uriel. Okay, respecting the order of the numbers, start reading and say the picture that it corresponds to the description, please. Okay, I, I'm gonna start. One, this hotel is made of ice. It melts every spring so a new one is rebuilt every November is the letter, letter E mm -hmm. correct number two yes teacher uh, number two is letter D excuse the, me oh. you have to read the description ah okay okay teacher sorry sorry this upper house 
is in the heart of the Amazon rainforest, but it, but it was designed with an Italian. And the materials to build it were shipped to Brazil from all over Europe. 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 Uh -huh. The preposition is by, designed by. And what letter did you say? Letter B. Mm -hmm. Correct. Number three. Chair, which Angel? Angel Gutierrez or Angel Osuna? I said. Angel Alexis. Okay. Number three. 16 miles or 26, kilo, 26 kilometers of steel were used in the construction of this stadium that was built for the 2008 Olympics. Is letter B. Mm -hmm. Correct. Number four. Sorry, uh, number four, this art gallery is named after the wife of its founder. It was opened in 2011 and it's visited by over a million people every year. Uh, I, I think with the uh, number I letter. Letter for that. Uh, <laughs> B. The B is already taken. Oh, sorry, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> it's an art gallery. What looks mm. like an art gallery? Um, the F. Uh huh. Sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Number five. This must good is called the blue mosque because of the beautiful blue tiles of the inside walls. It was built from 1609 to 1616. Mm -hmm. 1609. 1609? Uh -huh. O represents the zero. Oh, okay. And uh -huh. it's the letter C. Uh -huh. Sofia's Basilica. Number six. The architects of this cathedral were blinded by Ivan the Terrible, so they couldn't create anything as beautiful ever again. It's a little A. You see, I said it was a cathedral. Cathedral, okay. No, but I don't know who said. Paulo said that it was something else uh, no it's the yes it's a cathedral but i think that his name is the kremlin maybe you're right i'm going to check my <laughs> russian translator <laughs> because for me it has like the kremlin is like the city hall or something no <laughs> of the government or something like that Okay, very good. So, did you do you like any of the buildings in particular? Yes or no? Okay, we're going to do this activity. What is the most beautiful building in your country? You're going to prepare a short talk answering these questions, okay? Then you're going to show up a picture and tell them about it. You have to answer these questions. What is it? Where is it? When was it built? What do you like about it? Mm -hmm. And extra information if you prefer. 
but these four questions answers must be in the presentation okay so it can be a building uh, in mexico or anywhere else mm -hmm. so you have to google for the picture and maybe for some information if you don't have uh, all the information with you mm -hmm. so when you are ready i'm going to give you 10 minutes to prepare um, we're going to you're going to share the screen of your picture and we're going to listen to you okay is the activity clear okay you have 10 minutes to prepare start
Okay, very good. Let's start. Let's start with Alexis Rafael, please. Yes, teacher. Uh, I present. You need to share your screen with all the yes. group, please. Uh, can you see? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, for myself, the uh, most beautiful building in Cancun is a Fantasia Caribeña. What this is a monument of Fontaine named, named El Ceviche of Affected. Where is it? In the middle of the of the urban area and the hotel sum. When was it will? In nineteen ninety-four. What do you like about it? Well, it's a rep representation of a getting up in the face to of a catastrophe 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 like Hurricane Gilbert. That's it. Okay, good Alexis, thank you. So what you I think what you meant is like the the racing, no? Yes. The racing after the racing, um, the racing after a catastrophe. Uh -huh, or the recovery. Uh huh. Okay, very good. Only for everybody, the pronunciation is built. Built. Okay, uh -huh. teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Who wants to pass next? Volunteers, or I choose. Raise your hand. Okay, Edwin, please. Can you see? Mm, we can, well, I can see your picture, but not the presentation. Um, okay, it's, it's loading. Okay. Um, this is still loading, so if someone else wants to go, okay. Okay. Ruben, please. Ruben, uh, Edwin, stop presenting because Ruben is going to, to present. Can you present Ruben or Edwin is still in using the, the screen? Mm, it appears he presenting. Uh -huh. it's, it's true. Uh, Edwin, I don't know what's going on. 350 kilometers. 350 kilometers. Maybe your computer got stuck. Okay, thank you. Ruben, now you can present. Well, I talk about where the Vasconcelos Library he is in Mexico City. It was built in 2006 in the administration of uh, Vicente Fox. It was represent the new modern uh, structures in Mexico. And it fascinates me because it's a great architecture and it was a bunch of 
of volumes of books he has uh, about uh, he has about uh, 600,000 volumes in his in his building so that's the the reason why I I like it that that's library so that's it Good. Do you know the year it was built? 2006. Ah, okay. Okay, very good, Ruben. Thank you. I noted your participation. Let's continue. Patricio. Patricio, we cannot hear you. He doesn't have a mic. Oh my God. You see, that is why it's necessary. Well, I will read your participation in the chat. Why did you choose it? Okay. Correct. Thank you, Patricio. I noticed your participation. Um, let's see, Jose Uriel. If you participated, please uh, put your hand down. Okay. Yes. Um, I choose the Soumaya Museum. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Uh, it is a 
a non-profit cultural institution created by uh, Carlos Slim Foundation, named uh, this for his different uh, wife. And it was created in 1994. And I like the, the imposing and modern it looks. For this, I, I choose this. What kind of uh, art does it expose or exhibit? Uh, it uh, exposes uh, three types of art. For example, in, in this museum, expose Vincent Van Gogh art or, uh, works. Um, um, it it show, shows all kind of art, for example, um, Europe's art and Mexican evangelizers. Art. Um, it it have a, a large collection of art. Okay, thank you, Ariel. Very good. Let's continue. Through. Through. Edwin Alejandro, are you ready now? Uh, yes, I am. Can you see? Yes. Uh, okay. I choose uh, the Sydney Opera House. Um, it's an um, opera house. So um, it's in in Australia, in Sydney. Um, the building began in nineteen fifty nine and finished finish it in 1973. Um, I don't like this building in particular, but I remember it from the movie Finding Nemo. So that's why I chose it. And that's it. Okay, very good. This one, this is one of the iconic buildings now in Australia. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Edwin. Paulo Romero. Yes, teacher. Uh, you can see? Yes, I can see it. Start. Okay. Um, what is it? It's, the, it's a castle. His name is Himeji. Where is it? It's in Japan. Uh, when was it built? It was built in the century 11. And what do you like about it? Pues, I think that it looks pretty awesome. Yeah. That's it. Okay, so good pronunciation. It was built, not built. It. it was built. Mm -hmm. And Japan. 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 Mm -hmm. Would you like to go to Japan one day? Yes. Why not? No? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Paulo. Let's continue. Angel Francisco.
can you see it? Yes, we can. Uh, all right, uh, this is the, the Mazatlan Cathedral. Well, it's a cathedral. It's in Mazatlan, Sinaloa. Uh, the construction began in eight, 1856 and ended in 1899. Uh, I like it because my family is from Mazatlan and always that we travel there, we visit the downtown and the, the cathedral is in the downtown. And well, it's, and that's all. That's all. Okay, very good. Thank you, Angel. Josmar? You can present now. Excuse me, you have to correct the years. Remember that the years are mentioned in pairs. So I don't know what is the year that you're saying, but you have to separate it in pairs. What is the year, Josma? Uh -huh. In what year did it begin? No. Tell me the year in Spanish, please. So you have to separate it in pairs. So 15, 37. Uh -huh. Okay. Why do you like it, Josmar? Okay, Josmar, thank you. But I have to to tell you that these activities are to practice your fluency. So, I don't want you to read. I want you to express yourself naturally, okay? So, maybe you are going to say less, less words. Your participation can be shorter, but you have to do it without reading. I mean, you can have some notes next to you, like the year, for example, or the architect, but you have to to do it naturally, okay? Thank you, Josmar. Um, Isaac, please. Yes. Can you see the picture? Yes, I can. Okay, I choose 
the Angel of Independence. It's an honorary column found in Mexico City. It was inaugurated on September 16th, 1910. And I like it for its similarity to Greek status. And I look great that it ap appears to be made of gold. Okay. That's all. Thank you, Isaac. Good. Um, let's continue, Jose Maria. Yes, teacher, I'm here. You can see my screen. We can see it, but it's in blank. I don't know what happened. Uh, in the meantime, Kevin, can you present, please? Yes, sir. Uh, can you see it? Yes. Okay, I choose the Mexico City Metropolitan Cathedral. It, it was built in 1573. And well, it started in 1573 and it was completed on 1913 and I choose it because I like the the type of, of construction from the cathedrals I think it's the the way of construction is called Gothic and Baroque, and that's all. Okay, very good, Kevin. Thank you. Let's see, Julio Perez. Yes. Yes, we can see it. Uh, it is a uh, Chichinita. It's from Yucatan, Mexico. Uh, it was uh, built in 500 after Christ. Uh, I like it for the story you have uh, with our ancestor. Um, finish. 
the story it has because we're talking about a thing okay so the correct pronoun is it it has okay okay thank you Julia um, let's continue Fatima please Can you see? Yes. Okay, I choose Shanghai Grass Beach. Uh, it's a, a beach in, it's a, a beach located in Shanghai, China. Uh, the beach uh, was built uh, as a tourist attraction. Um, its inauguration was in August 20, uh, 2016, and I like it for its inauguration, for its uh, architecture, and beautiful and dangerous view. Okay, correct, because the the floor is made of glass, no? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Correct. Good, Fatima, thank you. Pedro, it's your turn. Do you hear me? Yes, I do. Uh, this is my uh, the old cathedral. What is it? Uh, is the headquarters of the Archdiocese of Mexico City. And where is it? And on the north side of the pl place of the construction in the historic center of Mexico City. And when was it built? The war end up in the eighteen thirteen. Um, what do you like about it? And the construction size in the was made with without the tools we have now. It's all teacher. What do you like it? Can you repeat? Uh, yes. Why? Why do you like this building? Uh, the construction signs in it was made without the tools we have now. Pedro, but is that your opinion or is what is it? Because I need to know your opinion. It's like I like it because what you said, no, I, it was built with the tiles of a pyramid or I don't know, but it's That's your I mean. opinion. And you have to do it like with an intro. I like this building because, and your opinion, your, the reason, no? Okay, let's continue. Francisco Rodriguez. Uh, hi. Uh, well, uh, you can see my screen. Yes. It, this is the other phoenix. It's a, a fire station. It uh, was built in 2006. Uh, it's in Mexico City. Um, I like, I don't know, <laughs> because it's, it's strange. It's a fire station, but don't look like a fire station. I don't know if you understand me uh, that <laughs> don't have red. Uh, the thing is, I don't know, it's strange when I I was search, but I like it. Um, that's all I think. It's it, well, Google say well, the page I'm looking for. Uh, says is the uh, the best that stays in Mexico. I don't know. 
Google says that. Maybe. Um, but it's strange and it's very, very interesting that construction. I don't know. That's Is it, it in Mexico? Yes, it's in Mexico City. All right. I, I think it's new because I have never heard of it. 2006. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but it looks yeah, like 14. abandoned, no? But looks, but I'm thinking it's used. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know. Are you sure it's a fire station? <laughs> yes. Google says that. Oh because I, I like that. Okay. Don't like, uh, don't see, you know? Teacher, we can't hear you. Thank you, I was speaking and speaking. Okay, I was saying that this is your homework, okay? All these two pages. You're going to study and do the activities. Uh -huh. Some of the activities are in the book. Some of them are in the notebook because you cannot have enough space. For example, this one. Find one the true sentence and rewrite the other five so they are true. This is in the notebook. On the next page, well, this you can do it directly in the book because you have space. Exercises five, seven, five, six, and seven are in the notebook, okay? Sorry, six, seven, and eight. Six, seven, and eight are in the notebook. And also the writing. It has to be handwritten. I won't accept Word documents or anything like that because I'm not sure if you did it yourself or you just copy and paste it. So everything that I ask as homework is in the notebook in case it's necessary, like in this exercise, okay? Any questions about the activities for this week? No? Okay, very good. So that is all for today. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. I will see you next Thursday. Thank you, teacher. I see you. Bye-bye. See you, teacher.